folks, happy holidays. Because New Year's is coming up soon, I thought it would be great to create this cool firework text animation that you can use for your projects. Take a look! The great thing about this tutorial is that you don't need any plugins, all you need is the After Effects program. So why don't we jump into it? Let's go ahead and open up After Effects and I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to call it New Year's Comp. Make sure that it's 1920 by 1080. I'm going to make the duration five seconds. Press OK. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create a new solid. Right click, new, solid. I'm going to call it Fireworks 1. Press OK. Now I'm going to go under Effects and Presets and I'm going to search for CC Particle World. Here it is. I'm going to drag that on there. Now let's adjust these settings here. Under birth rate, we're going to make some keyframes. We're going to start at zero. We're going to make a keyframe and we're going to just take a look at the keyframe in the layer and you can do that by hitting U. We're going to move it a couple of keyframes. We're going to make another keyframe at three and move it a couple frames further. Around here is okay. And we're going to make this zero. So it's going to go Zero, three, zero. We're gonna increase the longevity to 1.5. Go under physics, and we're gonna change the gravity mode to 0.1. Keep all the rest of the settings the same. Let's press play and see what we got. That is already looking great. I'm going to go ahead and go into particle. And we're going to change the color map to custom. Click custom color map here. And then you can see that there's a bit of a color progression. Goes from yellow to orange to dark orange to red and then to black. We're going to create our own color progressions, but we can worry about that later. What we're going to do is duplicate this layer three times. So you can do that by pressing the layer, command C, command V, command V, command V. And just to make it a little less confusing, I'm just going to rename them. Now, let's stagger them a bit. You can just move it out like this. We'll have this one out a little further. Now let's talk position. So this first one, we're going to make sure Fireworks 1 is selected. And make sure that Particle World is selected. And then now if we click in the center, we can actually move the firework. So I'm going to put it in this corner here. Perfect. We're going to click fireworks two. make sure particle world is selected. And we're going to move this to the bottom right corner. We're going to hit fireworks three, particle world. Let's move this to the top right corner. Here is good. And we're going to leave particle four right where it is. And if we take a look, you can see the staggering effect. Perfect. Now we're going to mess around with the colors. Start with fireworks one, which is uh, the top left corner here. We're going to go into particle and again, custom color map. So let's create for this one, a pink color scheme. So the first one, I'm going to make it a very light pink. Press OK. Make this one a little darker. And again, you can play around with this as much as you want. I think I'm going to make it go a little purple now. Dark purple. And black. See how that looks? Awesome. Now, just go ahead and mess around with all of them. And get it to a place that you're happy with. We've got a nice variety of colors going on here. I'm happy with how that looks. Now we're gonna focus on the text. So we are going to hit the text tool up here and we're gonna type in Happy New Year's. Right now I have the ALS script as my font but you can choose any handwritten font or any font you'd like because this is your project, you do what you want. 
but I like ALS grip. It's very nice and classic. We're gonna go into a line and we're gonna center that on the screen here. And if we go into character, you can adjust the size and the color if you'd like. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. Under effects and presets, I'm gonna search for glow. And I'm gonna drag that onto the text. That's a bit too glowy for me, so I'm just gonna bring it down to five. Now we're gonna have the text be revealed on screen. So we can do that by just making sure no layers are selected here and clicking the rectangle tool. We're going to drag a rectangle right on top of this text. Perfect. And we can rename this layer. Now in the Happy New Year's layer, we can click track mat, alpha mat to the text reveal layer. You can do that and if you don't see it, make sure to toggle on the switch here. If we move this layer and we can do that by clicking it, pressing P, moving it to the side, you see that it reveals the text on screen. So we're gonna actually animate this square. So we'll start at the end here. Till it's completely off screen, we're gonna hit the position keyframe. We're gonna move it along a couple. We're gonna hit it again. And we're gonna move it so that it reveals the text. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now I'm gonna time it so it goes right when that last firework comes on. That's a bit too fast. I'm just gonna drag it out a bit. Now we're gonna add a nice push in to this animation. So I'm going to make sure that the Happy New Year's text and the text reveal layer are selected and I did that by holding down shift and clicking both layers. We're going to hit S on our keyboard for scale. We're going to start at the beginning here. We're going to make a keyframe here. We're going to make a keyframe at the end. And because both are selected, both layers are getting keyframes. Drag that at the end here. Now, if we go back to the first keyframe, let's change this to 90. Take a look. And there we have it, folks. A simple Happy New Year's animation with fireworks and everything. I hope you enjoyed the holidays and that you have a Happy New Year. Let's hope 2021 is better than 2020. We're all praying, <laughs> that's for sure. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the Yuan Pizazz channel for more Adobe tutorials. Have a great day, folks.